Lam is a girl, the sassy engineer. As we all know, every country has their own unique slangs, and New Zealand is not excluded. Slangs are words that are used in a special way in certain social contexts, so it's generally used to establish an identity or exclude outsiders or both. Now, in this video, we'll be exploring the different, well, some classic Kiwi slangs that I've heard here in New Zealand. The first one is chore. So you often hear people say chore bro. Chore bro! I think it's always in that pitch. So chore here is just a way of expressing gratitude or appreciation or just basically saying that something is really awesome. So very classic Kiwi slang and the person that says this is usually the one on the receiving end. So if I do something to you and you find it really awesome, you could be like chore bro! Number two, bro. Kiwis refer to anyone as bro. So it could be male, female, or even inanimate objects are called bro in New Zealand. I think in the UK it's called mate, but here it's bro that is used. For instance, you have cho bro. Number three is as. As is an adverb, and adverbs are used in comparisons to refer to the degree or extent of something. So for instance, you have as far as, as fast as. But Kiwis here are so laid back that they don't even bother completing the same thing. They just end that as, the first as. For instance, you have good as. A classic Kiwi slang that uses as is sweet as. Or some people just end that sweet. It can mean cool, no worries, thank you. Depending on the context that you use it. For example, if I say let's go to Christchurch, you could just say sweet as, sounds good. <laughs> but... That sweet ass usually sounds very funny to me. Up till now, I'm like, are you referring to my ass? <laughs> the fourth one on the list is Yena. It's funny how I picked this up really, really quickly when the first time I heard it. Yena is just a nice, non-commental way of saying no. <laughs> so if you say Yena, you're basically saying no. I think Kiwis are just really nice, so they want to give you that no with a soft landing. So rather than just saying no, they just say Yena. As an example, if somebody asks you to do something that you don't want to do, for instance, you want to go for a walk later in the evening, just be like, yeah, now nah, I'll be all right. Yeah, now nah, I'll think about it. Number five, she'll be right. This is just a classic Kiwi way of saying that everything will be okay, all is well. You know, just making light of whatever situation that is. I think she'll be right is a compressed form of should be right, should be all right. I may be wrong here. Let me know. The sixth one is A. Kiwis use A a lot. If you're in New Zealand, you hear A at least once a day. <laughs> a is just a word that they add to the end of the sentence. It can mean anything depending on the context that you use it, but it's commonly used as you use, you know, or right. A is always spelled as A Y or E H. Either way you spell it is correct. In Nigeria, I think it's similar to what you have like um, Abi or Na, but here it's A. As an example, it's cold outside A. Sounds all right, eh? Then we have dairy. The word dairy is used to refer to convenience stores or corner stores. In Nigeria, we call it kiosk. So <laughs> the first time I heard dairy, we we're going to buy ice cream. So we said, let's go to the dairy and get ice cream. I was really interested. I was like, wow, you guys have a special shop that sells dairy products only? Only to go there and find out that it was just a kiosk, a convenience store or corner store, depending on what you call it in your country. But in New Zealand, these are called dairies. You also have togs and jandals. When heading to the swimming pool or the beach, togs and jandals are essential items to carry. What are togs? What are jandals? Togs are swimsuits. We call it swimming trunk in Nigeria. While jandals are flip-flops. In Nigeria, we call it slippers. The ninth on the list is gumboots. When a Kiwi person or someone from New Zealand is speaking about gumboots, they are referring to rain boots. Those shoes, those covered shoes you wear outside when it's raining, those are gum boots here in New Zealand. They are very, very popular, especially among kids. Some of them even wear it to sleep. It's so hilarious here. Different sizes, different these different designs. I think some some Kiwis also call it wellies, but I think wellies is more of a British word. The Kiwi slangs for rain boots are gum boots. The tent on the list, hmm, yes, the tent slang is batch. When you hear a Kiwi person referring to bat, they mean holiday homes. So holiday homes here are called badge. And I hear that in the South Island, they also call holiday home crib. But badge is a very common name for holiday homes here in New Zealand. And Kiwis love badges. Almost everyone wants to have a holiday home here in New Zealand. 
then you have hard out this is just a word that is used to emphatically agree with someone just like you say preach in maybe america or even some places in nigeria here you say hard out for instance if i say wellington is the windiest place in new zealand you'll be like hard out another classic kiwi slang is far out far out is used by kiwis to express shock or surprise the first time i heard it i did not know the meaning but i kind of understood what they were trying to portray or say at that time for instance if i say i just won 100 million dollars lottery you'll be like far out and the degree or the extent to which you emphasize the far out shows the degree of your surprise or shock then you have yarn kiwis love yarn to have a yarn simply means to have a conversation or a friendly chat with a friend, a buddy, or just anyone. And when you are spinning yarns, it means that there is a certain degree of exaggeration involved. The 14th slang is Jaffa. Jaffa is just a rude way of preferring to Aucklanders. You will not really hear this in Auckland, obviously. You will hear it from non-Aucklanders or when you are outside Auckland City, go to other cities. That's when you will hear Jaffa being used. You know how in Nigeria, many people don't really like Lagosian because they believe they are one kind people. Same thing here. Some people don't really like Aucklanders because they believe they are like one kind people. So they call them just another Aucklander. And I will say, advise you, mind who you use this thing on. And sure, don't even use it in the first place. The last one, and I always forget this one, is Wob Wobs. Not sucking, I forget it with you. Wob Wob refers to countryside. So like in Nigeria, we'll say the village or Edom, if you're from Akwaibom, here it's Wob Wops. And most times there's no signal in that place. They lose, they use long drops. They don't have internet. So when you're going out to the countryside, you often say you're going off to Wob Wops. So these are some common classic Kiwi slang that I know about. There are obviously more. And with the continuous migration of people, newer ones will emerge. So if you have any other Kiwi slang that I've not mentioned here, let us know in the comment section. Thank you and see you in the next video.